Hi, and welcome back to the Double X Files. This is episode 14. I'm Con Ava. Ninko. Christine. And we continue on steadily through our journey through season two. We covered episodes seven, eight, and nine of season two today. Woo! Someday we're going to actually sit down and like cram a bunch of these so we can try to get uh, caught up. But until then, yeah. just just bear with us. Right. If we do do that, we're probably going to cut out, like, omit all fucking um, synopsis so that we can just uh, start. I don't cram- know. I think that probably will just stop. I, I don't know. I don't really like the idea of cramming a whole bunch of them into right. one day, to be honest. Like, all right, anyway. Then, well, um, that's really... behind the scenes stuff that yeah. we're going to not let Whoa, go Whoa, we do have to cut this out and put it into the... DVT. <laughs> Wait, cutting stuff out because I just put, put, posted raw. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's, no. yeah, yeah. So none of that's getting cut, out, guys. Right. Enjoy nope. that. <laughs> no, nope. no. Nope. Like we we have talked about doing a m- 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 marathon during Thanksgiving break. Like we might just like m- like record multiple episodes. If... Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. that we'll we'll find out what happens. So. uh yeah. This and might even be uploaded sometime around Thanksgiving. If right. so, happy holidays. Yes. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. and like in other news, we've made it a micro girl to make it to this one particular episode in season three. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We saw clips uh, of this. Uh, yeah, we saw clips of that. And we can't wait to get to an episode in season three where apparently things are being told from other people's perspectives. Season three, episode 20. That looks amazing. Uh, Oh, it's all the way at like the end of season three. Oh, Man. Yes. I have to really power through some stuff. Uh, no. Yeah. no, but then there's a sequel to that episode in the show Millennium, so we might have to power yeah. through. Okay, I yeah, don't know. But... We'll, we'll get to that when we yeah. get to that. So let's get to what we actually are here to talk about, right. and which is the three episodes we watch, such as uh, episode seven, which is named three, confusingly. Yes, um, in the second season. Weird. Yes. (laughs) So, anyway, this episode, it's about vampires, guys. It's about vampires. Um, What is it? It's about vampires. (laughs) It's it's about (laughs) supposed vampires, yes. Um, So, it it starts out, like, we've got this, like, middle-aged, like, high-powered businessman who's, like, reveling in in the burning forest and drinking wine. And then, like, he he turns yeah, in California. And then he, like, turns around to the sexy woman that he's brought home, and he's like, look, I don't usually do this, but... And then they start making out, and they're in, and they're screwing in a jacuzzi, and then, um... She bites him. Yeah, then she starts biting him and, like, licking up the blood and all of that good stuff, and then this, uh... For some reason, he's uh, not into these it. these other guys... All right. And, yeah, yeah, for some reason, yeah. he's, like, not really feeling it. He's into that. Strange. <laughs> but, uh, then he, um... Uh, then two other guys, like, run in, including one guy who looks like a... Somehow even pudgier, Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau and another like guy who looks like oh. Meatloaf, maybe, if he really let himself go. All right. Um... And uh, they come in and they attack him with hypodermic needles. And um, then it, it gets to our our title sequence. Yeah. Um, and afterwards, uh, we've got Mulder and he's like weeping over missing Scully. And, uh, you know, sort of putting her badge and her um, glasses into a... A bag and putting it into our file at the X Files, which, if you'll remember, he recently took charge of once more. And yeah, he's uh, and, um, sprucing it up, taking all the plastic off the yeah, tables. Yeah, yeah. Which apparently they just threw plastic over the table. Yeah, including right. their like name plates and shit. Well, you <laughs> see that old trope in films and stuff like a house is abandoned for some for long periods of time. Mm-hmm. They'll just throw plastic wrap over it right but mm-hmm. the, the fact that he didn't take any of his personal effects is just amusing i know me. well, well, they, well, well, well they just too. shoved him into a fucking closet with yeah. a tape recorder so they were you like, don't even so get probably, your like, name plate probably it, he probably came up with like a box of his stuff and the like i want to believe poster trailed trailed over his arm <laughs> and, and they, they were like no no Mulder, you gotta put those back you can't uh, unless you can find room in 
here. <laughs> and it's just a fucking <sighs> dank ass room with one tape recorder. <laughs> and a coyote taking up half the space that he had to fight for the, the <laughs> that he had to fight, you know. <sighs> oh. Swear. Bureaucracy, man. Red tape. Yeah. All that red tape. What a bitch. So he so he's he's sprucing so the place anyway, up. <laughs> yeah, so he's sprucing the place up and then he uh gets news of a case. But it, like I don't know, he he reads ahead in the script or some shit, and he knows <laughs> that he needs to go to L.A. and uh, he and so he he goes to L.A. and he's gone to this crime scene where this uh, detective's like, uh, you know, he's talking to the the other policeman and he's like, hey, don't don't tell them about the writing on the wall, okay? The writing of uh, on the wall with blood, moreover. You know, or, you know, don't tell the media about that. Sorry. All right. Don't tell the media about the writing on the wall in blood. There we go. <laughs> okay. And uh, then Mulder's like, and then Mulder walks up and, you know, he just like practically bursts through the crime scene tape. And the guy's like, uh, dude, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm FBI. And the guy's like, um, well, no one Nobody called, called the FBI, you. and he's like, you don't need to call me. I no, no, what he, no, what he says, what he says was, well, someone should have. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, someone should have. I've been following this case. Yeah, I've been following this case for blah, 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 blah. And, well, uh, you know, same murder. Because. He, uh, <laughs> because it's all the same M.O. And uh, he's they're like, ah, writing you a don't... wall and blood in there. Right? <laughs> actually, the L- L- LAPD cop, he says, actually, this one makes it has a huge difference which doesn't connect. Yeah, it's the writing on the wall. I know. Who's? It's just like, how do you know these things? Hmm. Then he starts further proving that he knows way too much about these cases because he's yeah. the, best, the best FBI agent. And even though he hasn't been on the X Files for three months, he still knows all about these cases by heart. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because he, well, he did say that he's been waiting three months for these people to resurface. Mm, mm. All right. Um, so conveniently, uh, they stopped. They were polite enough to stop just before he, uh, you know, went on his hiatus, and then they they joined back uh, mm. whenever. Yeah. So, um, uh, they wind up finding, oh, and the, the quote on the wall is a reference to a, a Bible, uh, the, the part in John from the Bible, uh, oh, where well, Lazarus, about, right? yeah. uh, no, actually it's, uh, the Last Supper, yeah. you know, like, uh, eat from, eat of my flesh, drink of my blood, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Gain eternal, he, he drinks yeah. Oh, I he was talking blood, about. So, but for have eternal life and n- n- never die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, he shows how much I read the Bible. Hi- right. <laughs> so he hypothesizes. So Mulder hypothesizes that uh, they view themselves as an unholy trinity. Bum, bum, bum. And uh, <laughs> that fucking reading ahead out... the script, man. He's good at I it. Know, right? Damn, he's good at it. And uh, they find, like, some fingerprints at the crime scene, and it turns out that they belonged to um, this guy who was recently hired at a, a, as a night watchman at a blood bank. Like, <laughs> oh, too many things are clicking. Great place yeah. to hide, Mr. Vampire Man. And, um, <laughs> sure enough, Wait, 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 wait. What was his name? Coach Ferratu? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. He I... a bit. Was he was he doing a oh. shtick? I mean, why would you otherwise take the name of the most famous vampire? Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, but... anyway, um, so uh, he winds up, uh, so he goes in there and he like, this is, like in kind of this weird scene where I guess it's supposed to create like tension, but it winds up being confusing where he like takes a you know like a mirror on a stick that you use to like check under a bus or something, and he like uses it to try and, you know, get a view of the room ahead of him, but he doesn't see anything. And so, of course, you think, well, if he's a vampire, he can't see him in the mirror. And, you know, sure enough, he, you know, the room is empty, apparently. But whenever he goes in, there's a guy in there just snacking on blood. Straight from Um, the, straight from package. Straight from the bag. 
Didn't even bring a wine glass with him like a classy vampire would. <laughs> oh. Right. Is your discount? The stock would be the stock would be uh would be disappointed in him. Hmm. He'd be disgusted by him being like, ugh, such yeah. presence. So um, he takes this guy whose name it turns out is Bill, right? Or uh, the son? No, John. John. The son. John. He calls himself the son. Um, and uh. He and this this guy John, he winds up, uh, you know, like they they've shoved him into an interrogation room with a bright fluorescent light, and he's like cringing in a corner and shouting about, "Oh, you're killing me! You're killing me!" And Mulder brings in like a red lamp and just he's so calm. Me. He's so calm and so matter of fact about just setting it on the table and plugging it in and turning off the fluorescent light and then you know closing the door. And then the and then you know right away he's earned John's trust by doing this and so he kicks out the other two police officers, and um, he gets John to tell him that uh, basically to confess to the murder um, along with uh, two other people a woman and a man, uh, saying that it was all for self preservation because yeah, they have yeah, to feed right. but you know it's all confess. So then Mulder has now without Scully is free to go along his way and be scary Mulder. So he yeah. says, I need more confession out of you. So I'm putting you in jail and you know what hurts vampires <laughs> points to the barred windows where the sun is quickly rising. So you need to talk or I'm not going to, you know, cover up that window. So I'll give you a few minutes. <laughs> Just yeah. let me know when you want to um... talk. <laughs> And, and so whenever the guy doesn't want to talk, he walks out and it's revealed that apparently the one thing that Mulder does not believe in is vampires. <laughs> like, I have no idea why he doesn't believe in them. <laughs> Anytime that Scully believes, he does not believe. So. All right. <laughs> Scully's not here, man. That's the only other thing. So that's it. But said, Scully doesn't believe in them either, as far as we know. I mean. She's not here to confirm this. So. <laughs> So well, you're yeah. saying that in your head canon, Scully completely believes in vampires, and that's the only reason Mulder doesn't believe in them. Well, she probably <laughs> we're be- not. We can't. We can't confirm or deny this at this point. Right. We have to wait for the next vampire episode. Right. Oh, so Sc- Scully would probably say, "Yes, it is vampires, but it's vampires in the way where she has a horribly misdiagnosed medical condition." <laughs> yeah, exactly. She'd be like, "Oh, they're probably mentally ill," you know, like that uh, Countess. <laughs> Which, which one? They were all mentally ill. The one that drank the virgin's blood and bathed in it. That one. Bathory? Okay. Yeah, Bathory. Elizabeth Bathory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anywho. Okay. Um. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on in Hungary, guys. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird place, that whole... It's where, like, all of this, like, blood and, and vampire shit comes from. It's a weird place, I can only assume. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, they had a bloody there. history. They were kind of cut off from the rest of the world, it feels like. Uh, 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 anyway. Comment below if you... If you anyone, from, anyone from Hungary. <laughs> We know you, you. Some Europeans are listening, so please tell us. Right. Tell us about your place. Was it? Was there more murderers there than usual? I mean, right. we get a lot of coverage, but uh, yeah. T- right. Tell us about your horrible blood murders. <laughs> Anywho, so our... clearly you know about them. Yes, clearly you keep up to date, right? You watch all the serial murder date cases. So, okay. Uh, so anyway, um. Uh, he walks out and he's like, okay, well, if this guy decides he wants to talk, come and get me. But then it turns out Jesus. that whenever the sunlight actually hits him, he starts smoking and then he, like, bursts into... Well, he doesn't burst into flames, but he his skin just suddenly starts blistering, like, it basically way boils. beyond what Porphyria would do. Um, and he literally just dies of fourth-degree burns right on the spot. Uh, as is revealed whenever Mulder hauls in a doctor to uh, a non Scully doctor yeah. to, uh, to look him over, but he's still so saucy to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and uh, uh, they notice but, on his uh, hand um, stamp, which seems yeah. to be from a club. Yeah, called Club Tepes. 
uh, and it it turns out to be super vampire themed. He's got a and, uh, giant mural of Vlad the Impaler. Yeah, like straight from, you know. You know Straight from the uh, old, uh, mo- uh, what do you call those? Illuminations and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, not an illumination, but... Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's like the a manuscript. Portrait. Yeah. Okay, it's not It's not that. But anyway. You know what um, I'm talking about. The old yes. wood prints. That's what I, word I'm looking for. Yeah. That is what um, I'm looking for. Yes. Okay, but um, then... Whenever he goes to this vampire club, he meets this like woman in a bu- who is also in a business suit. The only two people in the business in business suits in the place. Everyone else is like bikers. One yeah, and uh, so she's all uh, she's all like mysterious and bullshit, and she's like, "So I I give that you wonder what a normal person's doing here." And he's like, "How do you define normal?" And she's like, "I don't. How do you define it?" And he's like. Let's go find a corner. <laughs> he's like, I just know that normal's not what I feel is what he says. It's like, <laughs> like what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so they go into a little corner and she takes out like a, a hypodermic syringe and she uh punctures her um finger, finger and like licks the blood and she's like, Oh, this is the only thing that's real in my life. Everything else is just like a uh, you know, uh, <laughs> stocks and bonds and equity, it's not real, but this, this tastes real. Ugh. And, um, yeah, so she's a freak. Uh, she tries and... to get Mulder to taste her blood, but he's like, yeah, um, uh, no, yeah, uh, AIDS, uh, no. This and, um, you yeah. know, and, but, uh, whenever she so she leaves whenever he won't taste her blood, and uh, picks up another guy who's at the um place, and apparently the uh the most erotic place that he can think of to take her is the back of a bakery. A you know, because uh, Boulder follows this guy um as he leaves with uh Kristen uh. I don't remember if I mentioned it. Kristen is the young woman that he picked up at the bar or started to pick up at the bar. Um, and oh, he, yeah, he immediately started noticing, oh, she's got the, yeah. yeah. So she's obviously a suspect. <laughs> Follows yeah. her to this place called Raw's Restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we almost had Sun Worshipper, God, Worshippers of the Sun God versus Vampires. Which yep. is something I would watch, Hollywood. Yeah, right? right? That Wouldn't like, that be great? Let's not do remakes and, like, how's that? Like, it's free. It's free, guys. Come on. Like, can we go back to the old studio system where everything wasn't a wide release? You would take it from market to market? This is just going to be our bitching episode. Let's yes. talk about how shitty that everything is. Right. <laughs> okay, I mean, but seriously. Okay. Back to, back to X-Files. Okay. Um... So while well, so he he like sort of peeks in on them, and then but then like a car comes by and it winds up startling the lovers inside, and uh, they look up and they see Mulder and then the guy runs out and punches the shit out of Mulder and he's like, hey, we're consenting adults, all right? Stop looking in. And um, what you call is weird. What you call weird is what we call you know love, man. Right. Like, this is California. There aren't any laws about voyeurism that I, I know of. I'm with the FBI. I'm above the law. Um. Yeah. And so then, when but then, of course, when the guy goes back, he gets super murdered. Um. By three. By. But this time, it's important to notice that uh, Kristen seems you know has disappeared, and he looks around for. Her. And then uh, he sees a woman in shadows. Um, and uh, I will be right back. Okay. Uh, he sees a woman in shadows, and uh, that and he starts walking towards her, and that's when he gets attacked by the two men. And then uh, the next morning, they find out that oh no, this guy's been murdered in the same way. And uh, even Mulder with the, investigates. Um, even with the uh, writing up on the wall again still. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. And, uh, but... Whenever this time. They, uh, yeah, this time, and this time they say that there's still 
then three separate bite patterns. Yeah, he or, brings in a forensic dentist. Yes. yes. <laughs> Which, cool. If I was going to be a dentist, that's what I'd want to be, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so the guy is like, hey, there's, like, three different bite marks on, on there. And so Mulder's like, hmm, well, one of them is dead, so they must have brought in another guy. And so he starts uh, looking into Kristen's background, and they wind up going to... Um, well, he finds out that she lived in other in the other places where there had been uh, murders just like this, um, right around the times of the murders, and uh, so he tracks her down to her house with uh, some other uh, policemen. And um, while there, they find a bunch of different bloodletting tools. And he's like, oh, she's not coming. She's gone, guys. Okay, she's never coming back. So you guys should get at it. I will certainly not wait here for her for when she comes back. Okay? So, okay. Yep. See you. Bye. What? No, I'm getting in my car and leaving. I just need to. Vroom, vroom. You hear it? Vroom, vroom. That's my car. Bye. Just hitting the can before I go. Don't worry about it. Uh. Okay, okay man. You aren't lying to me, are you? No, totally not. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. So, of course, she comes back. <laughs> and yeah. Mulder's just sitting in her house. Yeah. Like a creep. But like I a guess... fucking creep. Tippity <laughs> cut me. We did. Even creeper. Um, the actors who was playing Kristen and David Duchovny were together in real life at the time. Yep, they were oh, boyfriend and girlfriend. That explains it, and right? That's why she got all those weird long monologues. Yeah. Oh, that explains so much in this episode. Yep. Because right after that, she starts giving yeah these long monologues about her pat her, her whole entire yeah. life. Her yeah. dad beat her terror savagely and. And then uh, John, and then she got together with John, and then he beat, beat her, her savagely, up. And then they got into blood, um, And sex. then they started feeding each other blood while fucking or something. I don't it's, know. It's, yeah, this whole thing that I'm not into, I don't care to know about. So, no. so and, uh, they get into that, and then apparently he brought two more people in, and then everything yeah. changed to, like, to unnatural. And she put it, but I'm like, eh. <laughs> um, that line got crossed early, but whatever. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it it so she, but she's like, I'm not, you know, like a vampire, but they are basically is what she was saying. Yeah. And uh, but then they, and then he's like, uh, and she's like, well, if if John's dead, then well, they're not gonna come that. hunt me. <laughs> And uh, and he's like, "Are you sure I'll I'll gallantly stay here overnight to make sure you're safe?" Yep. And um, they get on, they get it on. They, yeah, they they, they fuck. Um, yeah, there's no bee in the bush. No. Um. And so then, well, he, but by then the way, she gets stuck up the in the way, middle. Though, by the way, uh-huh. while he's wearing Scully, Scully's necklace the whole time. Yeah, yeah, he's wearing Scully's necklace the whole time. So, ew. like, ew. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So, all right. She goes down to the kitchen after they get it on, and Mulder's asleep, and then John's in the kitchen. Oh no! I thought he it turns burned out that he's somehow alive because of vampirism. It's it's not super well explained, but he's like, uh, I can't be killed by anybody who isn't a vampire. That hasn't been done in vampire lore yet, right? Right. It's right. fine. That's okay, how it cool. Works now. We'll we'll go with that. Yeah. Um so then he uh he he hands her a knife and he's like, Look, you can join us still because you know, you can't kill me, but I can kill you. And, um, so she's like, uh, okay, okay, okay. And she takes the knife and she goes up and, uh, and, um, sorry. She takes the knife, she goes upstairs and she's like, Mulder, you've, uh, you've got to go. Uh, the fire you, is coming. Yeah, the fire is coming. Oh, God, fire. 
You know what? Why isn't he having a panic attack? Of right? Fire? I don't know, right? He was not like... at all like, oh shit, I forgot I was afraid of that fire thing. So, yeah. Any yeah, money that was put down on uh, him not, not ever mentioning that is to be collected. Right. Who had the bet? <laughs> I had a yeah. dollar. <laughs> but nobody like, bet it's... against me. So, I didn't win anything. Yeah, like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure if somebody woke me up saying, yeah, you're dangling from the top of a skyscraper. I would fucking just lose my shit. <laughs> But no, it's, it's... But no, he's just like, oh, I better get my shoes on. Uh, yeah. our, uh, well, my car is down the hill. Oh, well, my car's in the garage. You should take okay, that Okay, well, let's collect yeah, your thing. <laughs> so he literally yeah. is like, let's collect your thing. That's when she pulls out the knife and then starts stabbing and stabbing into the corner. <laughs> yeah, where so it she... turns out that's where the big... Tommy was so ish guy has been. I'm, he was more like the, he was really more like the uh, meatloaf that let himself go even more. Mm-hmm. But whatever. <laughs> Degrees of meatloaf. Degrees yes. of meatloaf. Meatloaf. <laughs> I I don't think Tommy was so is on that scale, but okay. Yet. Um. No, just no. <laughs> anyway, so. So. Uh, so stabby stab. Yeah. Yeah, she says this guy, and she's like, "He's not actually dead. He's super a vampire." Okay, um, you need to get John's the fuck alive. Out of here. Yeah, you know, and um, and uh, she, I don't know, like they they wind up going down to the garage, and um, she's she. she uh, what is it? No, like John attacks Mulder, but then she manages to get him off of mm-hmm. Mulder or some shit. And then Mulder and... restrains him with the uh, yeah. Cord. And then they go to the um, they go to, into the uh, garage where they try and get they get in the car, but then uh, they're attacked then by the, the last. Uh, yeah, but then uh, the other vampire, who's a woman, uh, shows up and she's all like, "I'm sexy. I'm gonna get you, Mulder," and then tries to bite him, but uh. Uh, Kristen. But she ain't gonna have that with her man, I guess. Yeah, Kristen right. decides, oh, I'm gonna uh, yank, you know, run you over, basically, into a, uh, into a spike on mm-hmm. the uh, wall. Yeah, and uh... Pretty good scene. Pretty good scene. Yeah. So, uh, uh, with that, he's then like, okay, so I'm gonna go get uh, John, and we're gonna take him and drive away from this. She's like, yep, that sounds like a good idea. I'll wait for you. And as soon as he gets in the house... she doesn't wait for him, because she's... I don't know. It's something like she waits for him to get out, and then she goes back inside. But what it's, it is, what it is, is well, that Okay, she, that's what it is. She, like, revs off, you know, make, like, kind of draws him out. Yeah, draws him out, and then he's and running then down she, the hill, yeah. and she leaves the car on the side of the road and runs back up, starts pouring gasoline everywhere, and, um... While while Mulder's down the hill and trying to find the car, which he finds and is like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and uh, then she and the the John is all like, "You can't kill us though. You're not a you know you're not one of us." And she's like, "Oh well, here." And she you know like she she has some blood from uh the sexy female vampire on her hand, and she looks at it and she's like, "I've tasted the blood of a believer." And then uh, she, like, lights a match, and he's like, but you haven't taken a life. And she's like, well, I'll take my own. And then she throws the match down, and the whole house burns up. No, no, it does not. sorry, it explodes. You are right. It explodes. It explodes off screen where we don't see the house, but just the fireball that comes up. Yeah, yeah. More like C4, probably, than gasoline, but... You think... Who am I to judge? I'm not a pyrotechnicist or whatever. Pyrotechnician, but anyway. (laughs) Yeah, Um, so... Then uh, Mulder looks over to that uh, obvious amazing effect that they didn't have money to film. (laughs) And so... um, he then, you know, he he's sitting there while they're combing the uh, uh, ruins of the house. The uh, and the fire de- and the fire de- uh, man comes up and says, "I'm real sorry to tell you this, but uh, we found four bodies, and uh, yeah, it's yeah. just bones and ash." So, so he's 
he's sad because uh, the the only woman who ever was as freaky as he was another is now dead. dead. Sad. Um, he's sad. There. Yeah. Loses all so. the women. Then yeah. looked at uh, Scully's fucking necklace. <laughs> yeah. Which isn't weird at all. Hmm. Yep. And then it fades to black. And the song Somewhere Out There begins to play. Somewhere out there. Scully's <laughs> in danger. Anyway. So. Okay, so. What did you guys think of this episode? Uh, good good point. points, I guess. Uh, I did like. Um, we saw how Mulder the... got. Sorry. Yeah, I like uh, Dark Mulder. Yeah, Dark Mulder. Dark Mulder is... Yeah, we found out he like, got quote unquote. Yeah, we found out he got the name Spooky. Uh, he's more scary now. He's just yeah. straight up scary Mulder in that he's like, you know what? You don't want to talk? That's fine. I'll let this fuck. I'll let you fucking be psychologically tortured by the sun. Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> T- tell me names. And then, like, you know, that, of course, backfires on him. And he's like, well, I guess that guy died. Oh, well, I'll go. See- but he- I- I'll just go get some poontang or whatever. Yeah. I'll go to a club, I guess. Do this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get some ass. <laughs> Obviously. So, uh, with that, uh, I, uh, yeah, scary Mulder with, you know, with no Scully to restrain him is pretty mm-hmm. good. Um, I like or the just effect- have a partner in general to restrain him. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's he's like the doctor without a companion. Yes, <laughs> to, I, to bring another show in. Yes. Like, has he ever had? Like, how long has our doctor gone without a companion? Uh, he's mm-hmm. gone a while. Like, depending on how close. far back yeah. you want to go. Yeah. But um, yeah, like you know, in the reboot, he's. He goes like maybe four episodes at a time, uh, like uh, in succession. Yeah, that sounds them. about right. Like four or five episodes without like a a steady partner. <laughs> yeah, uh, and usually it gets uh, he gets a little more vengeful in those, mm-hmm. um, or he just tries to break the rules and then winds up yeah, being that's... like, "Oh, I don't think I should have broke those rules." <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so um, uh, that enough about Doctor Who. This is X Files. Yeah. They're completely different and not at all both science fiction out of their ass. <laughs> so, um, but I really liked kind of like a lot of the um, special effects in uh, the um, in like whenever they did this had a lot more blood than the fucking uh, episode called Blood. Right. Yeah. And I kind of like uh, they had a lot of good effects like whenever uh, you know makeup and all that was pretty good. Um, yeah. The, the, I guess the lighting was. Pretty good. Well, of course, whenever I'm con- complimenting lighting, I feel like I- I'm maybe scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit. Um, no, it's, it's, it is important. Yeah, it is important. Here. But I don't like, know, whenever like, she just started, she grabbed, she like raised up the knife and like started stabbing, and like Mueller, yeah. Mueller to see him like fall to the floor. But you, you know, and you just have yeah, just enough yeah. time to see that oh, he's not actually being attacked. And then you see her just stabbing in a in a, in a corner. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did a oh. good job at using lighting to keep things ambiguous. Mm-hmm. Um, but like overall, I didn't really like this episode. Really? Okay. Because yeah. I guess yeah, I, I mean, because you didn't find they uh, explained it enough. I'm guessing. No, I don't know. It's. I feel like it wasn't written that well, to be well, honest. Yeah, I would definitely like, say. Like I pointed out, you know, when the it starts going. Yeah, off. when she starts monologuing, it feels like it's like. She's out of some novel right. that Chris Carter has always wanted to write, right. <laughs> but never gotten around to actually finishing. Mm-hmm. And so she's got this huge backstory and this whole story of her own, but we're never going to hear it outside of like these monologues that are kind of just thrown in there. Um, Lady only here can see Humpy Humping Star of Show. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Much. And it was I mean, like, I don't know, maybe David Duchovny had enough weight to be like, look, you can't get rid of me because uh, Gillian Anderson can't be here, so you have to put in my girlfriend. You wanted a hot woman, right? Yeah, she's fine. She'll do great. I'm sure we'll be together forever. <laughs> so Yeah, so, um, I mean, there's that. And I don't know, I just, I, I do feel like they kind of missed an opportunity to make it like I, I feel like it would have been such a a much better episode actually if they had just been like weird 
blood-sucking serial killers mm-hmm. who considered themselves vampires. Like you said, you, like, in the middle of it, you, whenever uh, John showed back up, you were like, oh, John's not yeah. real. John's in her head right now. She's right. Like, yeah. like, so, like, been she's been so psychologically abused by these people and all. Yeah. And then to, like, to the point where she now sees him and she's like, oh, he's not dead. He'll always be here and he'll always be here to torture me. Thing. Yeah, and so. now I have to kill in order to get rid of him or be yeah. with him. I, or I, yeah, or I just have to do what he says because yeah. he controls my life thing. And I'm mm-hmm. like, Jesus Christ, that would be amazing, but no. Yeah, you know, exactly if you want to actually address like abuse, like you know, that's a good way to start. You know. Yeah, that's a that's a great that's way okay. to like escalate it out, like escalate it, you know, and be like, whoa, this woman is like damaged yeah, beyond the like, instead of using abuse as oh, a tragic it. backstory to this woman who's literally only going to be used in one episode, it's just a throwaway character, mm-hmm. why don't you, like, actually use, you know, the psychology of abuse as part of the horror of your episode? I mean... Okay. But they don't, mm-hmm. you know. Unfortunately, he turns out, yeah, he is alive. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's just a straight-up, like, vampire thing and it, it, I guess that you're also right that it they don't explain it that well it's like you have to drink the blood of a believer and take someone's life woo like that doesn't sound um as with, know, I, I mean like I've never heard that in yeah. any kind of lore before as with I mean, most me um, if I'm wrong but you know it's as with know, most it like uh, 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 vampire I mean, it was with most vampire things. If it's something new, I'm like, what? Well, and they're like saying, no, this is the absolute truth that, you know, all that other stuff is bullshit. I'm like, then where did we get all that other stuff, guys? Right. Come on. And then, like, yeah, I mean, it's also, it's just like, uh, I, I'm sorry, Jenny. What were you like, saying? I'm going to go with the Dresden Files explanation for vampires is there's different courts of vampires. So, yeah, it's all true. Just depending on which court you get converted by. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, but, okay, that's just it. This is. This is my thing. It's like, they don't really explain... Mm. Okay, is this like a demon thing? Is this like a straight-up like supernatural vampire thing? Mm -hmm. Is this some, like, weird... I don't know. It could be an alien thing that has infected their blood or something, for all Mm -hmm. we know. You know, and and gives them, like, weird super healing powers, but Mm -hmm. only after they've technically died, you know, Mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, but no, it's just, just, shh, it's vampires, I guess. Yeah. Who cares? I, I, yeah, I just think that this was a, a big it, lost opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Um, it had a lot of throwaway stuff that they decided not to, you know, do anything with other than just throw it away. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. before we move on, um, our rating. Oh, yes, our rating. Um, three. Three. The number of the, the number of the, Let's see. The number of stars out of ten I would give this. <laughs> <laughs> the number of disapproval. <laughs> the trinity of disapproval. <laughs> the number of frowns on our face. Yes. <laughs> All right. Which, uh, which one sounds the, sounds the most anime? Uh, uh, three. The number of disapproval. His his Mulder's his Mulder too passionate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, that works. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. All right. <sighs> Moving on to better. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, with that, um, that wasn't a great episode. Only because uh, the writing. Yeah, like I said I kind I rather like a lot of the um, only because of the writing. Well, no, I only because think... of the backbone of yeah, the episode. It's... But I I think that like um, what do you call it? So, uh, the, like I said, I liked a lot of the makeup and the lighting, and it started out pretty strong, right? Yeah. And then it's just whenever she got that monologue, and then they decided we'll have them have sex because they're having sex in real life, and then yeah. they decided to waste everything else. That's where yeah, I, I guess really that was. Went. I'm sorry, I know that we said we were moving on, but that was another thing. Like, there wasn't, like, actually any, like, on-screen chemistry Chemistry. between them. Like, other than, hey, I'm weird. Hey, I'm weird. And I'm going to protect you. Yeah. So, once again, fucking Terminator, which... (laughs) 
I just the same thing happens. It's like I'm gonna protect you. Okay, let's have sex. Oh, it's like a, it's all the like you've pretty much like um, there's like one quote in Speed that pretty much like sums up any relationship like that. It's the adrenaline. Yeah, it's the adrenaline. Which always makes a long-lasting relationship. Uh, right. It's <laughs> nugget. They made it never does. It's just the adrenaline. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. Okay. So just just give in to the adrenaline and go on with your life. <laughs> I don't that's condone much... this. I want to put this out. Don't condone that. <laughs> right. I'm. I'm just saying that that's what pretty much the the takeaway from Speed is. Like, yeah, we're going to sleep together, but we're not going to know enough. You'll never going to see one of us in the sequel. We're going to ignore each other forever. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. uh, moving on. No, no. Reels. <laughs> are, are you sure? Do we are we done crapping on three? Yeah. Well, like I said, I think it has a lot of redeeming qualities up until a point. And then it's like, okay, now you right. you just fucked up. Okay. <laughs> like, do you ever think they have like some of these already planned dab with Julian Anderson in mind? That's like, um, guys, I have news. I'm um, I'm pregnant. Uh, mm, that wouldn't be impossible, but um, I don't. Maybe not for this one. But... Yeah, but it's not impossible. Um, right. okay. Anyway, so the next episode is called One Breath. Uh, it's episode eight, and uh, it starts out with uh, this kind of uh, flashback where um, a Mrs. Scully, Margaret, is go- is narrating a story about uh, her little daughter Dana and how she and her brother she was being taught by her brothers and dad how to shoot, and uh, uh, one day they found a snake and they started and her brothers and all started shooting at it and then she saw the snake bleeding and she was like oh no what have we done and I'm she, a monster yeah and she re- and she learned regret that day and then um i am the only scully to know regrets. No regrets. <laughs> yes yes and then um she learned regret that day and uh and uh then it cuts to this to the present in which Mulder's like look look i i think you're going too far i think we need to keep looking and she's like oh I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, for that day I felt for my daughter, but today I know how my daughter felt. And it turns out they are picking up a gravestone that, you know, reads Dana Scully, you know. So she obviously, she thinks that Scully's long gone, hmm. but Mulder doesn't. He refuses. So after the title, yeah. after the title, um, Mulder's having um having a sh- shitty time. He's he's not liking it without Scully. It's hard in the X Files apparently. Mm. Scully, when he gets huh? Scully was th- th- thirty. Was she okay? Yeah. Yeah, I guess the uh, thing. Yeah, you mentioned that her right, yeah. her uh, dates. Uh, so yeah, Scully. Uh, it turns out uh, Mulder gets a call and he's like, yeah. <laughs> Then he's rushed. Then he just jumps up and runs out of his house. And then the next scene, he's running in through this hospital where people are like trying to grasp at his shirt, being like, "Oh, sir, you can't go in there." But he's just fucking barreling down these halls, and he runs into a um, he uh, he runs into a, a hospital room where who else but Scully is on a uh on a uh, bed, and she's all like, and she's all um plugged into machines and. She's got a respirator, and she's obviously, uh, uh, you know, on life support of some kind. And he's just lost it. Her her mom's there, and she's just like uh, sadly looking on at her daughter, just in this terrible state. But Mulder, he's lost his goddamn mind. He demands to know how she got there, who did this, what's going on. The doctor, doctor. Where Dave. is she? I mean, like, she's it's right where, here, but where did she come from? Where did we? You don't know. We're big metropolitan hospital. Like, we can keep track of every single <laughs> redhead. God. I'm the janitor. Why are you yelling at me? Where did she come from? C.S. Prino? Let's see. But yeah, Daly, uh, Dr. Daly. He's yeah. like, sir, please calm down. But yeah, obviously, he will not calm down. So, you know, after. He gets dragged away by some orderlies while yelling, I promise, I swear to God, I'm going to find who did this. I'm going to find them. 
But uh, after he's calmed down, they're able to all sit down and have a nice, you know, civilized chat. <laughs> Except, you know, Mulder looks like he's a cat about to pounce on this doctor if he gives him any kind of, like... Yeah. any guff. <laughs> any guff. <laughs> so, um, the do- but the doctor is rather embarrassed to admit he doesn't know where Scully came from. She just was there, and then they don't have any records of when she was admitted, who admitted her, and how she arrived in this uh, state of, uh, you know, coma. And, like, she doesn't seem to have any, you know, indication of what caused this. So... And they had bathed her when, they, when she got in, yeah, so there's and, no way to get trace evidence. Yeah, and there was no tr- way to get trace evidence because she's been, you know, cleaned down and all. So it's like, we just kind of have a comatose scully on our hands now, uh, however that happened. Mulder's not 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 pleased with this because he um, he of course you know wants justice. <laughs> so with this, um, he uh, the doctor starts mentioning that Scully's will being because Scully is a doctor, she put it made sure to put in her will that uh you know if she doesn't if she was in this state that she did if you know what do you what do you call that. Speci- well, her specific criteria yeah, she, for... she get, like there's a scale involved apparently mm-hmm. I don't know enough about it yeah, yeah but uh, that would, if, because of specific criteria um, if her condition falls into it uh, then she is to be unplugged and you know allowed to pass on which uh, you know apparently she was quickly reaching that uh, area if not already in it <laughs> and the, uh, of course Muller was saying no 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 we have to fight we have to fight. Um, and he also gets to meet uh, uh, Scully's older sister named Melissa, who dresses in uh, whose dress invokes that of Victorian era, and she wears crystals. And I love this idea that she's got a super hippie, um, like um, older sister, sister who is. It turns who out just everything. yeah, who believes in every fucking nonsensical bullshit ever. <laughs> And, like, in some ways would probably be a better match for Mulder, except that they're, like, butt heads. And she's just, like, um... Like, she's just as fucking, like, strong-willed as Mm -hmm. Dana is. Mm -hmm. But she... But in the other direction, like, whereas Dana's always, like... Look at the facts, Yeah, look at the the evidence, Mulder. Uh, uh, Her sister... Miranda, is it? Melissa. Melissa. Melinda uh, is actually the um, actress's name. So oh. Melissa is the character's name. Oh, okay. M- Melissa is always like, think with your soul, Mulder. Yeah, oh, so it's, it's oh. great. Later on, they have a scene where she literally, she's just shutting him down just as hard as Dana does. But, <laughs> but Melissa, but it's Melissa going like, listen to your soul, Mulder. <laughs> and it's hilarious. But anyways, so uh, he meets her and she's, you know, trying to, you know, heal her with these crystals and is like, oh, you can feel that she's trapped in there. She's still there. And uh, it's they... your anger that's holding her back. Yeah. It's your anger and your fear, Mulder. Yeah, it's you, Mulder. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and like, uh, they have this metaphor of um, Scully, she's... The, everybody else is standing on a pier whenever they visit her at her bedside table. They're standing on a pier and Scully's like on a uh, in a small little rowboat uh tethered to the pier but too far out for them to uh touch so there's that little visual metaphor for you <laughs> <laughs> and um that going on uh of course Mulder's like I will have my revenge I will look into all the all the things and find the person who did this to her um <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, so while um, uh, shoot, I'm trying to remember what happens next. I'm really good at this, guys. Forgetting what happens. <laughs> Let's see, Froki. Um, so while um, yeah, he uh, he that's what he does. He uh, kind of borrows, quote unquote, uh, her medical documents and stuff. And Mulder brings it to the uh, lone gunmen who are like, oh, look at all this <laughs> stuff. 
uh, her DNA has been contaminated, blah, 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 and going on about You're this. You're still just as gross as ever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, we have, we've we've uh, we've decided to give them all their own names. Because right. fuck it, we're not going to call them by what their real names right. are. Right, do we ever call people by their real names? No, we, we make up names for them. Other yeah, names, Mulder and Scully, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Skinner. Skinner. And Cigarette yeah. Man, because that's the only name they give. Uh, well, apparently Cancer Man is what they tried to call him in this one. Yeah. Which it's I, like, I guess it's a stick. Yeah, I guess because, yeah. Oh, there's not enough facts. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, but anyways. So, uh, yeah. Your Gar- villain is smoking. That makes kids think that smoking is cool. <laughs> but it's cancer, guys. Remember, kids. Okay, so, um. Yeah, so Garth, Mike, and uh, Herbert the pervert, uh, they all are like, oh no, her DNA is like, you know, oh, it's it's showing that she's had microchips implanted in her and there's waste, poisonous waste product in her system. It's going to be not, not, not easy to get her, you know, out of this coma. In fact, a healthy person at the peak of their, at the peak of their health would have a hard time dealing with this, much less a person who's been missing for three months and in a coma. So yeah, I'm older. You might just want to just, Accept that it's out of your hands. <laughs> Just accept it's out of your hands. Do He's I like, to- no! Revenge! <laughs> so, um... He puts a... Uh, yeah, um, Mulder then, like, puts a X on, uh, with masking tape on his window and shines a light through it. And he waits for... Uh, or waits all night for some contact from X... Uh, when he gets his newspaper in the morning at his door, he opens it up to find nothing, and he's he's frantic with anger and de- and desperation, trying to find a way to save Scully from this horrible um this horrible th- thing they've done to her. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Scully is uh once again you know, we're having scenes where she's out on this little boat, and uh her bedside nurse is trying to um you know coax her out. Hey. Yep, saying, saying, you know, don't go into the light. Come, come back to us. Nurse Owen, I believe. Yeah, is Nurse Owen Carol was. Ryan, stay with, stay with us. Don't go into the light. <laughs> yes. So, um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. When next and when next, um. Mulder comes in. Uh. Uh, the nurse is like, I gotta take some blood. I gotta take some blood samples, and uh, he notices a weird, creepy guy who's hanging out nearby. Uh, and he's like, I don't. And immediately, of course, because the other man's wearing a suit in a hospital, like a, a business suit. You, it's right. always, obviously like you can't trust this man, Mulder, because <laughs> he's wearing a suit. I'm, 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 I'm just a pharmacy rep. I'm just a pharmacy rep. <laughs> I'm young and attractive. <laughs> Please, I have a wife and kid on the way. So, with, with a distraction of an old woman's uh, heart monitor suddenly uh, going going flatlining, uh, and the nurses and everyone rushing to her, uh, Mulder sees that uh, the vial of blood that was just taken from Scully has disappeared, uh, and the door is swinging closed as the man has di- also disappeared. So. Putting two to two together, Mulder quickly hauls ass after this, um, and all the way down to the uh, parking garage where he is uh, grabbed by uh, X, who slams him up against the wall with a gun to Mulder's head and is like, "You need to stop digging." But but. No, no, just stop, man. You're fucking everything yeah. up, okay? He's like, you're you... fucking my shit up. You're fucking your own shit up. Yeah. You're fucking his shit up. Everybody shut up. Everybody's shit. You're fucking off. Yeah. I you thought I was helping. Stop what you're doing right now, buddy. And he's like, no, Scully. I will protect her. Scully's you. gone, man. She, she fought a good fight, but she's fucking gone, all no, right? I refuse this premise. She's helpful. But eventually, uh, uh, Mulder, oh, and Mulder's let go, and he refuses to not chase this man, this theft of blood down. And he finally uh, corners him in the parking garage, uh, where uh, he's able to get him to drop the vial of blood. 
he gets the drop on him, gets 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 the vial of blood off him, and uh, starts to try and walk him, you know, to a safe place where he could then interrogate him. Fortunately, the man is able to get the drop on him, on Mulder, and uh, with a scuffle where uh, he's almost uh, almost able to get Mulder's gun and, and shoot Mulder, but X comes in and breaks the man's arm with a bare hands, and then uh, and then. Take, takes uh, Mulder's gun, Mulder's gun, uh, and uh, shoots uh, this mysterious blood. Well, he's thing. like, yeah, he's like Mulder. If you want to fucking go, this is how you fucking go. Yeah, like, and he shoots the guy. Well, he shoots the guy into submission, like yeah, and in his shoulder and stuff. And then he's like, and then he turns to Mulder and says, "So you want to know what it's like to get, you know, to do, go down this path, huh? All right, this is how it goes." And he shoots him into, and shoots. Him mysterious uh man in the uh, skull right. is like yeah that's what happens yeah the yeah. man's dying so. words were i'm just a pharmacy tech <laughs> no you weren't <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty and then uh Mulder, having seen all that quickly decides i think i should just go hang out with scully's family again yeah. <laughs> um I mean, uh, I think that after that, yeah, he it goes to the, him in Skinner's office. Yeah, right? he goes to he goes to Skinner's office. Is what happens, and um, we're actually just before we just before he goes in, uh, Smoking Man's there, uh, lights up a cigarette, sees you know Skinner's put a giant sign on his desk that says no smoking, please. Mm. Still, you know, takes a big ass puff, then barely puts out the fucking thing, and uh, and uh you know, walks out and is just like, whatever. I didn't have anything to say to you anyways. <laughs> so. Uh, and then almost immediately, somehow, Mulder walks in missing him? Eh. Yeah. And, um, uh, and uh, immediately sees the smoke uh, smoke coming out of the ashtray and is <laughs> set off. Already chip on shoulder. Of course. So, um, Skinner starts asking, so, uh, what was this about finding a dead man in the basement of the, uh, hospital? Um, I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. What, what, Damn what it, is yes, this you about? Do. How does it feel, man? How does absolute denial feel, fucker? Yeah, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. What is this you're talking about, actually? There's a dead man? <laughs> and so, yeah, Skinner's like, you know what I'm talking about? He's like, I don't know. How does it feel to have absolute denial and answer, que- questions being answered with questions, motherfucker? <laughs> and he's like, what, what, what is your problem, Mulder? And Mulder's like, this! The smoking man, Mr. Cancer Sticks, he's the problem. Fuck him. Maybe you can you're... have everything of me. You can have my house, my badge, my car. Just tell me where this fucker lives and I will... And he's like, what? Just You'll just you bring down your bring down the hammer of justice? We're not the mafia, Mulder. No, oh, but if you promise me you won't sleep in a bed for five years, then we'll talk. <laughs> so... Mulder, Mulder eventually uh, leaves because Skinner won't tell him jack shit. So, um, uh, so we cut to back to Mulder hanging out in the hospital with the Scullies, and they're all kind of, and again Melissa, the sister, is like, oh, Mulder, you have to let go, get in touch with your, you know, so, get in touch with, you know, channel your <laughs> And trust and peyote, man. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> and all this. And he's like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Why can't you be more like your sister? <laughs> oh, man. She's uptight, man. I'm glad she's yeah. dead. Wow. It's dark. <laughs> so, uh, then uh, he, uh, through blah, 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 he sees that, uh, you know, a woman ask his, asks him for change for cigarette machine which i love a cigarette machine in the hospital that's always great yeah <laughs> and uh she leaves with uh leaves a pack of cigarettes just sitting in the um receptacle of the machine he uh, immediately that's the smoking man's brand yeah, yeah. He, he immediately recognizes it as the smoking man's brand opens it up and inside it is you know a little note that has an address uh 
at that address is the smoking man. Just sort of chilling, watching TV, yeah. you know, being just a normal really guy. Apparently. Grandpa. He's like literally yeah, no. grandpa just sitting around being like, yo, I'm just catching up on my retirement. And on Naruto, you know. <laughs> God, a grandpa that watches Naruto. That, <laughs> so that um, you think the tip. So um that uh he what where but yeah Mulder um Mulder is somehow able to sneak up behind him and uh puts the gun to his head and is like, Alright, you motherfucker, now you're going to tell me everything. Why did you take Scully and not me? Why? And the cigarette man's like Why couldn't oh. Why couldn't I have died instead of her? Yeah, and, and Cigarette Man's all like, I, I just like you both, and I I made sure she was returned. So, you know, I mean, I even told Skinner that I thought you were the one who shot that guy in the parking, uh, in the uh, basement, but, you know, I didn't really believe it until now, where you've got this goddamn gun in my face. <laughs> well, I didn't shoot him, yeah, he was shot by. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He just shot himself, man. <laughs> but uh, M- Mulder's just like Mulder's just like you need to tell you have to tell me everything, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But of course, you know this is the X Files, and you don't get yeah. the truth. <laughs> you just get vague. Oh, maybe you just I just have to believe that it's out there, guys. Yep, pretty much. And um, so Mulder has to deal with his rage of not killing the smoking man because he'll never know anything else if he kills the smoking man because smoking man knows all but tells none. (laughs) So eventually Mulder just gets nothing out of that. That was kind of just him just showing that he could get to the smoking man, I guess. Yeah. And then... um. Well, I think that he went there probably with the intent to kill him, but then found that he couldn't, you know, because he realized this guy does a lot of bullshit, but in the end, who's going to wind up wind up looking like the villain here? Yep, yep. And not to mention, yeah. Not to mention, there's nothing that's really tying this man to anything. It's all exactly. kind of in my head <laughs> at this point. Like, I know that it's him, but, but I don't have it's all in my head. Him. All these connections are in my head and not on paper anywhere. Right. So I can't so I can't do anything. So he just so he just kind of leaves. And um with that, um with that he just kind of goes back and uh types out that he wants to resign and hands the letter over to uh Skinner. Who walks in and tears it up and he's like, this is unacceptable. You can't just give up because you're defeated. And then he goes on this speech about how he joined he the Marines in Vietnam and he wound up shooting a 10-year-old kid who was like covered in grenades and um, had a then... body experience. Because, yeah. yeah. And like he said that that was the point at which he stopped like delving into like the mysterious. But he wanted Mulder to keep delving into that. <laughs> he was living vicariously through Mulder. I guess. That's <laughs> that was. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, he basically says, uh, I'm not accepting your registration and you're going to keep doing this because you Resignation. It, it, what did I say? Registration. <laughs> registration. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm not accepting <laughs> your registration for the soccer team. Sure. No. If anything, you're you have old. football legs. <laughs> Soccer is football. No, you have football. Not in the FBI, it isn't. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so basically, uh, Mulder also points out that you that he uh, Skinner must have been the only person who could have given him the uh, the uh, Smoky Man's address, which he's just like, oh, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um. Once again, while going back to the hospital, uh, Mulder is uh, met met by uh, X, who is telling him, "Okay, so here's your plane ticket. You're gonna have to go to. Uh, you're gonna have to leave after you, um, you know, defend yourself from home." 
No, I, no, I think the plane ticket was actually like it was sort of a um a decoy. They were he was like they're going to think that you're out of your house, you know, that you're gone to uh you know this place. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, I, I thought... think that's what it was. I'm not. Uh, yeah, at least was... now that you mention it. Yeah, shit. But uh, yeah, they, he, but the point is, is that he was mention he was saying. You're going to have some visitors tonight and they're going to ransack your apartment looking for, you know, any information on Scully. You're going to be there with a loaded gun and defend yourself. <laughs> and Mulder's like, okay. Well, Mulder sitting in his, uh, in his apartment with a loaded gun gets a knock at his door. It turns out it's not someone trying to intrude, but Melissa, who does just walk in. <laughs> <laughs> And then she does the whole um, shutting him down by, you know, saying, you're not listening to yourself. You're sitting here. You're in a dark place. And Mulder tries to say the same, tries to tell her, look, you're full of shit. You're not a psychic. I know psychics and you're not a psychic. Hmm. But she's I like, said plenty. Yeah. But she's, of course, like, oh, you're just not the believing Mulder. <laughs> you're not looking at, you're not looking at what could be. <laughs> He's like, just, bitch, you using my own argument against me? <laughs> He's just kind of like, what? Eventually, she storms out angrily because Mulder won't, you know, see uh, Scully because the doctor because the doctor has admitted that her she's deteriorated to a point where they're going to have to take her off as per her will request and. So this would be her last, you know, night. So it was the last chance Mulder would get to be be by her side. So this is his choice. He stays and defends himself or he goes and sees Scully. Says goodbye. And gets his goodbyes out. He, uh, and he eventually winds up at Scully's side. And he holds where he belongs. Yes, of course. He holds her hand. They all talk to her, but then and you know says his says his little goodbyes about how much he respects her and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, but when and whenever he comes home, his whole home is like completely trashed and really sad time where we see Mulder just yeah because it's like more. Yeah, it's like he's really lost everything at this point. Like he's he's not stood Broke up for himself man. against the military. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even have Scully to you know like help him out. He can't save his he's friends. Just, he yeah, lost any anything, all his all his help. They mm -hmm. they can't do anything. That he had a chance to defeat the evil, but just couldn't because there was nothing, no way that he could be justified in doing so. And he just crumples to the floor and starts sobbing. And it's like, oh, God, no, please don't. Oh, Mulder. Oh, no. Don't be crying. Don't be crying. Oh, please. We know there's more of this. You, you know, you're going to be fine hey. after this. Come on, Mulder. Man up. Come on. Men can cry. Jess. I know. <laughs> Poor guy. Just like, wonder how... <laughs> Like, are we ever going to see David Duchovny ever cry spot on or just, like, go in a corner? Mm. Oh. On how method acting he wants to be. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, and it's just a really sad moment where he just is, like, looking at his hands, like, you know, the, the rock giant. <laughs> the little <Olympics> big <laughs> strong <hands. laughs> So... <laughs> uh, we have seen somewhere among all this that, uh, we see Scully just laying on a table uh, in a white flowy gown where her dad comes out in his full uh, military um, uh, regalia. Cap uh, captain regalia. Yeah, I, I guess he was a captain. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, as, I don't know if they ever say if he was an admiral or whatever. I don't know. I hope he was an admiral so he could be Admiral Scully and she'd be Agent Scully. I hope. I th think he w was an admiral because he could nice. have been buried in, in Arlington. That's true. That's true. You're right. So nice. Nice. No. So, generals and uh, admirals aren't the only ones buried in Arlington. Right. But I mean, like, he didn't die like during service, but he had rank such a high enough rank he could have been buried there. I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know the, the rules, so we'll have right. to... We're just assuming. We'll have to do further research, I guess, guys. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um... 
he uh so the point is we see him and he talks about how much he loves his daughter and that he just can't have her coming to visit him just yet that uh you know it's too soon and that he'll see she'll see him soon enough etc cetera, etc cetera. and then she flashes and she's back on the uh, bed and she's waking up from her coma, and the nurses are all like, "Oh my God, get the doctor!" And uh, eventually, the uh, Mulder gets the call that Scully's awake, and he runs to her side, and everyone's happy. They're just like, "Oh, it's happy days!" And he immediately is like, "How are you doing?" And the first thing she says is, "I don't remember anything," because I know that's exactly what you mean when you ask me yeah. how I'm doing. You're actually asking, do you... Like, that would be your next it? fucking question. I already know. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great, great. So do you remember... Okay, anything? uh, so what do you remember? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so the first thing she's like is, I don't remember anything. I just remember, uh, Barry. And after that, it's all just gone. So, and I'm waking up here. So he's okay. like, okay, well, I have, you know, here's your necklace back. And he's all, like, choked up, but can't say anything, so he leaves. Her dad was a captain, by the oh, way. He's oh, captain. captain? Okay, thank you for yeah. looking into that. Nice. Thank mm-hmm. you. Too bad. I was really hoping for Admiral, but... <laughs> okay, so, um... So, yeah, uh, in the end, she, uh, asks... She asks her nurse, uh, if she could, uh, talk to Miss, uh, Nurse Owen who had kept talking to her throughout this time, asking her to come uh, come back to everyone and uh, not go into the light. But uh, the nurse, of course, says, Ha ha! Oh, you silly young woman! There was never a, a nurse here named Owens who works at this hospital. And it just kind of pans up to the uh, light flowing through the windows. What? And that's where it is. <laughs> so, yeah. That's so, that is. was that God or was that a ghost? Or That's was the that most a, que- a right. question out of this First, entire thing. No, actually, right, yeah. what I honestly think is Nurse Owens may have been whoever, you know, put her in there was the person who, in the end, if they got what they wanted from, you know, mm-hmm. if Mulder cooperated just enough, she would, you know, fix Scully or she would dispose mm-hmm. of Scully. Right. That's what I'm kind of Oh, thinking. dark turn take on that. I don't know, that's mm-hmm. kind of, seeing as she was there and she was there whenever Mulder was talking about stuff and mm-hmm. I couldn't help but notice she was there, you know, being very, you know, caring and, you know, compassionate towards Scully, but of course, you know, yeah, you know. uh, she was there. Kill him trained. with kindness, man, kill him with kindness. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of nope. like, mm, I'm not and... sure she's there just to bring her out. She might be there to suppress her or let her go because yeah. there was also a scene that I didn't talk about because it didn't weigh much on most things. But uh, there was a scene where she, Nurse Owens was standing on the pier and then the rope uh, holding the little rowboat to the pier just snapped and Scully just dis- went off. So that also kind of made me think, oh, wait, is she actually causing Scully to go deeper into her coma or... Um, I don't know, that's just it. I thought that it was just that happened to be... I mean, the way that the timing of it Mm -hmm. suggested to me that it was just that that was whenever they pulled the plug, you know? Yes. Yeah, but the only person you see on the pier is Nurse Owens, so... Hmm. So that's why I'm kind of like, hmm, hmm. So... uh, So anyways, that's uh, theory and speculation at this point, which... (laughs) We might have to I put it... don't know if we ever get an answer to it. Yeah. But, uh... So we'll just have to keep watching, I guess. Oh, oh no. Lame. <laughs> so, uh, uh, good point. Yeah. Pretty good episode. Yeah. yeah. And, uh-huh. like, I mean, we get Skull It was back. a little, like, I think that it was a little weird mythology wise. Like, um, like, like, what is Nurse Owens? Like, I don't know if it gets explained or not later. <laughs> But, like, what is she? You know, was she, like, representing God or was, you know, like, or what? But, um, you know, um, yeah, I thought that it was a good episode overall. Mm-hmm. We got yeah. Sad Mulder. Yeah, I know. Oh, Sad Mulder. Oh, it's so good. Just want to because hug it's like, like, oh, you just want to okay. be like, it's okay. fine. It's fine, Mulder. You get plenty more seasons and a few movies. You're fine. It's okay. Shh. 
Shh. It's fine. We all love you anyway. We love you, Spooky Mulder. <laughs> yes. So, we got to see really just broken ass Mulder, who just he he's so broken and sad, and it's like, don't worry, it gets better or and worse, I'm sure. <laughs> um, very I, like, very worse. <laughs> um, yeah, the whole uh, he's kind of X is not exactly a friend. He's kind of. Yeah. Using he's also like everybody else, he, everyone's yeah. using fucking Mulder as their, you know, either like a, a a you know, divining rod to try and point everything mm-hmm. to the truth or using him as a puppet or he's just kind of this experiment they're, you know, playing with or you know, so, everybody's got their own thing that they're playing with Mulder and the X-Files. So mm-hmm. That's really underlined in this uh, episode. Um, mm-hmm. We get to see fucking Scully's sister, Melissa, which I'm loving. Yeah. <laughs> just a fucking does, does she strong show up will. Does she more episodes, or is she just sort of like, we this, just see her here? This his, his sister? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I... Uh, she's got her own page on Wikipedia, so it seems she gets a couple yeah. episodes. And so does, like... I just clicked over to the Nurse Owens one, and someone pointed out like it kind of like she has a like a slight classic Scully hairdo. So one theory is it's this part of Scully's subconscious mm-hmm. telling her to mm-hmm. hold on. Hmm, this is true. All right, I don't know. Um, all right. Um, I was trying to think if there were any parts of the episode that I was really like, oh, psh, bullshit. Um, but I don't know, like from the I don't think so. I mean, it was pretty like, like, like I liked seeing X, you know, so, sort of showing his true side and, mm-hmm. um, you know, Mulder yeah. just finally having this moment of, you know, fucking meeting the goddess and being all like, oh God, it's all God. And also <laughs> him having to accept his limitations of, I can't do and fix everything. Yeah. Like, exactly. I want to. I can't always be there and help my friends. Mm hmm. And stuff like that, so yeah. Alright. And kind of that. Uh, it, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. I was uh, rather happy. Uh, yeah, like you said, trying to think of bad points, and it's like... Uh, right. <laughs> it was good. Like, it kind of wrapped up, like, this trilogy of, of Scully. Yeah, the saga of missing Scully. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, interesting notes, uh, like, Apparently, this was filmed three days after uh, Gillian Anderson uh, had given birth. Yeah. Which, yeah. which wow. Damn. But you can definitely tell the the bo- boobs are swollen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I, it's, uh, it's, that's it's... what you watch it for. You'll be <laughs> like, really happy for oh, this. Damn, uh, Scully, the aliens give you breast implants. <laughs> yep. Poor ah, woman. It didn't help that they kept. The... Didn't help that they kept putting her like lying flat and like just, just. Yeah. And again, I wouldn't want to be on my feet either. So yeah. Mm. Uh. So yeah. Uh. Pretty good episode. Um. I'm just really trying to root around and see if I couldn't find anything. I don't know. There were. There was a bit. Um. There was a bit like. Um. I guess just not well. Uh. Worded maybe. Uh, like whenever he went to go talk, to, uh, well, talk <laughs> to the um, to the uh, smoking, smoking man. I, I felt that it could have been a little stronger, but uh, I think it it yeah, does fine. Guess, it's fine. Like, yeah, I'm just yeah. being nitpicky at this point. I'm just. Yeah. Uh, other um, than that, uh, so title. <laughs> um, one breath. Yes. One breath. One Will it be Scully's one last? last? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Will it be Scully's last? Mulder loses Has... everything. <laughs> Can Mulder hold on? Right. In one breath. <laughs> bre- one breath. Scully walks to a bl- 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 and Will she come back? Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So is that the uh, last episode we watched? Yep. Firewalker. 
Yeah, this is a kind of returning to the old, you know, format of a uh, monster a week with Scully, you know, plus Scully. Yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of was again the thing, but not quite. It was like thing meets alien meets ice. Um, yeah. Well, the ice. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was it was like the thing meets alien meets um uh what shoot what Last of Us. Kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But anyways. X-Files is to do first, though. Yeah, he's, I guess. Yeah. All right. So, like, I guess with in the X-Files timeline, this is a, about a couple weeks later. Um, Agent Mulder and Scully are recruited by Dr. Adam Pierce to accompany him to mound out on to investigate the death of a colleague of his, a cinematologist named Erickson. Oh, wait, there was like an op- there was a cold open. What? Oh, so what happened during during the cold cold opening? Uh, they got like a um message from the uh, they got like a message from the uh station where they were like, oh, what are those knuckleheads up to? And then whenever they uh look into the uh, what do you call it? Camera. Cameras. It turns out they find a dead body, and they're like, "Uh, that's not good." And but then, like, just as they're looking at it, they see, um, uh, you know, they see a shadow pass over the dead body, and they're like, "Oh, what's that?" And then suddenly the camera cuts out. Yeah, and that's and the title scene. Yeah, and then we get what I talked about. Well, and like the summitals, his name Erickson was the dead body in the opening, and then Pierce. And then some guy named Pierce left the project. To, then the Pierce, the guy who they were talking to, left the project a number of weeks ago because he had a fight with, with, with this guy. With I, I hate. I'm going to refer to him as the Asian guy, but I cannot pronounce his last name. Takanaka. Tanaka. 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 <laughs> Tanaka. Right. Uh, no, he got he got in the fight with uh Trepkos. Trepkos. He? That's his name. Yeah. Trepkos. No. 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 The project okay, leader. Trepkos is the yes. Trepkos yeah. is the project yeah. leader, but the the guy who I'm sorry, you're talking yep. about the guy who yep. like Peter attacked Tanaka. the boulder whenever he first got there. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That wasn't seismolog- okay, like, seismologist yeah. Phil Erickson. Yeah. Is okay, Erickson is the guy who died. Right. So. Okay, hold on. <laughs> then, then Pierce, Let me get to this so then, I can look at all of them. Like, they're talking to this guy. Mark Twain comes to talk to them. Yeah, Mark Twain. Yeah. Fuck it, Mark that's Twain. That's Ludwig. Wait, no. Ludwig is the guy that attacks them. Right. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of names here, and you guys know yeah. how we are with names, so... Right. <laughs> okay. Pierce is uh, Mark okay. Twain. Pierce right. is Mark Twain, man. Then there was Tepco's Tanaka, the... the and the girl. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse. The girl. The chick from Sopping. That's what I know her as. Uh, it turns no, but uh, Pierce had a, a fight with Trepkos because Trepkos is a genius and he was his Salieri to Trepkos's uh, M- Mozart. So they got in a bit of a fight and it all, and it was coming almost to blows when um, Pierce said, "I think I'll just leave and watch from afar." Okay, y'all do what you do. Peace. <laughs> so yeah, that that's when he got the. Uh, it's just stress signal, and then no one con- no one would uh, confirm any contact or anything. So they're like, "Oh, we need some FBI help." Yeah, yeah. Well, he he That's said true. like he because I think because of the sensitive research or something, he didn't want to go through proper channels or something. Yeah. Um, so he went to the X Files, and they're like, "Oh, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, sure, we're not." Yeah. We're not the proper, you know, chain of command or whatever. Fine. No, that doesn't hurt our feelings. All right. Yeah, so, like, in Mulder, like, I, he's a little bit concerned about Scully. He's like, no, Mulder, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. I need to get back to work. Okay, Scully. Woman doesn't have to have a baby and then go, you know, and then go lie in bed all the time. We don't have confinement anymore, okay? Yeah. Okay, Mulder. <laughs> all right. Jesus, okay, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, You're then. More than welcome. I need you, actually. I, yeah. I kind of went fucking haywire on well, those vampires. Uh. Well, because Mulder, you know, <laughs> it's because I spike your coffee with, 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 with the antipsychotic drugs every morning. Oh. 
Oh, I saw, I spiked yours with alcohol every morning. Oh. I would think he'd give her like caffeine to try and give her some kind of some kind of you know fucking drive. Like, oh, wake up. I'm, I'm saying alcohol to relax her. Yeah. <laughs> But the caffeine to keep her awake, so... <laughs> Let's just give her speedballs. Okay, yes. so... <laughs> he's just giving her speedballs and she's giving him antipsychotics. Alright, then. We have our cover art. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... And, uh, that so, said... So the three of them head to Mount Avalon, where Mark Twain investigates the condition of the project's satellite equipment. Then they meet, like... The other guys, Ludwig, Tanaka, and the their spunky grad student sidekick, Jesse. Who is, by the way, fucking the uh, lead investigator, uh, you know, the lead uh, scientist. Just so you know. Yeah, we've got all of our stereotype bases covered here. Yeah. Nerdy Asian, in turn sleeping with her professor. Yeah. Who, a uh, crazy genius, uh, mentally, you know, with a legit mental illness that is uh, more played for um, plot device than, uh, you know, actually depicting it realistically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's covered here. Yeah. And like I said, to continue our, to continue the trend of, of people being that episode that Frozen going to do horror films, the girl that plays Jigsaw's. Surprise! A accomplice is is in this. Spoilers! Spoilers for uh, what? Like probably the last one came out at least five years ago. No, but it, it was like like she's been in in all of them. So it's like surprise! The recurring characters actually worked with Jigsaw all, all along. What? what? It's like it's never really seen. I've seen like bits and pieces of them, just enough to where I, it's like, the girl looks familiar. Hmm. Oh. She's Jigsaw's friend. Hey. No. Then, okay, back to the story. And the three agents, and, like, the three of them to say, like, um, you know, Trepko had gone mad and he disappeared. Like, war paint mad. Well, he went off of his medications, and so clearly he's just, you know, gone for forever now right. into the bowels of madness. Right. And, uh... Yeah, this guy actually seemed to, like, love Poe, because he wrote like that. Like, oh, yeah. I'm just sending labor he, into... <laughs> like, Poe and Lovecraft. Like, exactly. I expected him to start talking about, like, Cthulhu lies the drumming. The ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now I want to see, see a Cthulhu-based X-Files episode <laughs> where Mulder uh, stares into the face of the, uh, of the Dark Ones and it's like, He stares into guys. the abyss and the abyss gets really awkward because it's Mulder's stare. <laughs> <laughs> Mulder can tame Cthulhu with one look. It's like, okay, dude, I'm going to go back into the deep. Screw you guys. I'm trying to destroy humanity again. I'll... It's like Mulder would be like, Cthulhu, come here. I must study you. <laughs> Like all the, like yeah, like Mulder turn, turns into El Mamira from Looney Tunes and Cthulhu's a fluffy cute animal. What <laughs> <laughs> more, more cover art? Okay, so anyway, back to the episode. Then Mulder looks at Trepko's work and finds a reference to a new silicon-based life form. Which I could have sworn we've gone over this in the show before, but I don't know. Um, what well, other life Silicon forms? Based. Then? I mean, um, other life forms then that are based on carbon, like such yeah. as they found, um, you know, the, the, bone based. Yeah, it, so it, weirdly, yeah. they did not find silicon based life forms, but they have found arsenic based life forms. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in volcanic. Uh, Lakes, I believe, or or sulfur lakes, uh, something like you know, yeah. or both. Yeah, it was yeah, it was like sulfur lakes and um, yeah, and that the deserts and such. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's like in the volcano, and then Tanaka starts showing signs of being physically ill, but refuses help from Skull. He's like, "Dude, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, you're convulsing," and he begins to convulse. 
Yeah. Go ahead. And the agents try to take him onto a stretcher, but he runs out into the woods and then dies when a tentacle bursts out of his throat. And search a very phallic por- tentacle. Yes. Very and, phallic. And search your Japanese portable t- t- porno tentacle joke here. Yep. Um, and it actually uh, sprays stuff too. Yeah, yeah, it just sort of sprays its seed all over the place, you guys. Wow. It's going to be one of those episodes, all right? Like, we were hey, talking. look, it is practically explicit, okay? No, there I'm talking has... about the X File episode, is what I'm yeah, saying. Uh-huh. But there, there has to be a typical porn parody of this. I'm somewhere. good, I'm good. I don't need to know about this. If you have that, don't comment because. Uh, right. We don't need that. We right. don't need that title. I know. I know it exists. You know it exists. We don't talk about it. It's, it's like it's like the Sneeple. We know they exist. We just don't talk about it. Okay. Right. So um, after he dies, they uh Performed. pull his body back inside and put him into this like plastic thing with like you know the rubber gloves that you can reach in and. You know, mess around with everything in it. Yeah. And, um... So, and, uh, Scully does, like, a preliminary quick autopsy on him. And finds, and realizes that it's, like, a fungus sort of spores thing. Like in The Last of Us. Yeah. Uh, where it's a, a fungus that, like, settles into your body. Uh, presumably through inhalation or in- or ingestion. And, uh, then starts growing. And once it gets, uh, too big, then it actually just burst through your flesh and then sends its spores out everywhere to Mm. uh, continue fertilizing other beings. Yeah, And Mulder, for some reason, contacts the CDC. Well, because of the contaminant. Right, but he knows they're going to come in and burn all their evidence and stuff. It's way more important to him for everyone to survive, probably. Yeah, it's like... There had to be a be a cut scene with him, so like, oh, do I call the CDC? And like an angel and the devil Mulder talking to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, I don't think he has like angel and devil. He just has like oh, alien Mulder and human Mulder going like, dude, it could be aliens. And the other one's like, yeah, it could, but yeah. we gotta be careful about the humans, guy. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Okay. Wait, it could... Uh, oh, yeah, it probably is, okay? Yeah. But we gotta make sure the humans are alright, okay? Right. right. There, there is no side of Mulder that does not believe that it is aliens at any time. <laughs> right. There's like it's... He has an external voice that is Scully, for, purely for that. Right, okay. So, yeah, Mulder contacts the CDC to have them evacuate and quarantine this this site. Mulder and Ludwig then head then head into the volcano in search of Trapicos, who then is surprisingly killed by Ludwig with a flare gun, then burns his corpse. Because, you know, that's what we learned from Last of Us. What do you do when someone's infected with the spores? You burn them. Even though I would think that would cause those spores to spread on the smoke. Just. Yeah, yeah, it seems like the sort of thing that would be counterproductive, but, eh, yeah, who knows, you right. know, I mean, well, technically, it, the spores hadn't been released or anything, so... Right, they weren't fertile. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, uh, I, I guess at this point, it's probably worth mentioning that, like, right around the same time, like, I think they cut away from him burning the body to Scully, who reveals that uh, she's been doing tests and she's pretty sure that there's, um, that this is only, that these spores are only dangerous within the first few moments of uh, release, after which um, ingesting them or inhaling them isn't a problem for you. Um, So that's why it's... uh, Yeah. Uh, right. yeah, so, um... Yeah, let's see, like, he's killed with a flare gun, they find Trepicos, 
And Scully finds out that the spores are only fertile for a couple seconds or so. Yeah, and, and then she goes to, like, knock on Jesse's door, who's totally not infected, obviously. And Me. she's like, Jesse, I thought that you would want to know that, you know, like, you're probably not infected. We can all go home. Aren't you happy? And of course... Of course, Jessie's choking on her own spores in the other on the other side of the door. Jesse, I'm gonna come inside because I know what I know from all my past experiences. I'm not at risk whatsoever. <laughs> Are you decent? <laughs> and that I'm in a fractal weakened state, and just like maybe she's gonna come back to work so soon. But what the worst that could happen to me today? I feel so alive. Oh God, why? It's not exactly what happened, but I mean, it's like, um, basically her, uh, all of the lights suddenly go out and, um, uh, and so she's like, oh no, I'd better go into the dark basement where nothing bad ever happens and, uh, and, uh, just, uh, turn on all of the breakers again. And of course, Jamie's waiting down there for her, or Jesse, excuse me, yes. Jesse's waiting down there for her. Um, and uh, the the uh, oh, Jesse winds up handcuffing her to uh, handcuffing herself to Scully because uh, oh, also uh, what's his face? Um, Chinakos? No, Trep- uh, Trepkos. Trepkos. Uh, Trepkos had mentioned to uh, Mulder. Um, that the uh, spores had infected everybody uh, whenever Erickson died. Because, um, like, noobs, they all gathered around the body of someone convulsing yeah. and having yeah. a phallic oh, uh-huh. come out of their throat. And um, once they had, uh, sorry, once they had infect, you know, once they had been infected, then the spores actually had taken over their minds. So they had probably never actually talked to the real, uh, uh, you know, people there. They had only talked to, like, spore minds that were able to, uh, you know... Mimic stuff. Yeah, mimic human behavior. Um, so back to Scully. She's handcuffed to Jesse who's, like, just sort of shivering and convulsing and, you know, any second now is gonna, you know, have a neck burster. Right. And, um... Scully finds a pickaxe. Or... Yeah, she a chisel, pickaxe, something like that. Yeah. She, she's, like, trying desperately to, you know, break the chains. But whenever she sees, like, the thing bulging out of Jesse's neck, she's like, oh, fuck, no, man, not today! <laughs> Like she, just, uh, she looks over and she sees like a contamination chamber and she like just throws her in there and slams the door on the uh, cuffs. And, and um, Jesse like slams herself in front, in front of, the, of the glass just trying to get out when the thing bursts out and splooshes mm-hmm. all over the glass. Yep. Once again, very phallic. Very <laughs> it is. There's... Like, it's not like, left up to the imagination, guys. It's ooh. like oh, that um, the episode of Bob's Burgers when they're talking about the singer's song. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's hot, hot and sweat and slick, and it's making everybody sick. Oh, he'll still. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's not very subtle, is it? Nope. <laughs> Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It... Yeah, so um uh, I mean if after that it's just sort of like uh, Scully, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You know, and then the C D C comes and um Mulder lets uh you know, Mulder lets uh Trip Coast go, you know, carry Jesse's body away, you know, and, um, you know, into the volcano to, I don't know, bury her and possibly kill himself afterward. Right. It's not really certain what he was going to do. Uh, maybe he's just going to live as the next Bigfoot. Um, he was they are in Oregon, I believe, so. Yeah. Um, even though the real Mount Avalon's in New Hampshire. 
Well, they said the Cascade Mountains. All right. I'm. Yeah. I'm not actually sure where. Uh, All the right. Cascade Mountains are in like Washington and Oregon, right? Yeah. Because because the Mount Avalon is was so was based in Bend, Oregon, but the real life Aval- Mount Avalon in the United States is in New Hampshire. So. Well, is there only one? It's not impossible that there's more. Yeah. Than- yeah, because mm-hmm. there's. Because yeah, because the mountains, like in Oregon, is fictional. They just took the name of one okay, in New okay. Hampshire. Okay, I see, I see. All right. Um. So yeah, basically, um, it all wraps up the you know the the CDC or well it, it it doesn't really seem to be the CDC. I think um it doesn't look like it's the CDC, uh you know logo on their shirt. It's kind of a weird, like, blue and yellow, um, like, pattern that looks like two pipes crossed or something. I don't really know. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's... It, they, they zoom up on it, so I guess yeah. it's important for mm-hmm. us to know. Well, I, I also did notice some red cross, but, uh, some, uh patches. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yep. Instead of the weird shillelagh one. <laughs> yes, but, um, yes, yes, this but the but yeah, apparently that's gonna come up later is all we can assume. Excellent. Yes, yeah, some you control and uh some control and uh right. uh containment. C S P C S P C what what whatever that game is called. Yes. S P C S P C containment. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, well you're being redundant now, Christine. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. I could have sworn, I could have sworn that was the that name of it. SBC is, uh, C stands for containment. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I just could have sworn that it was called SBC containment for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. So, anyway, um, thoughts about this episode? Yeah. Uh, uh, it was, like, you know, for being a retread of ice. I mean, yeah. Kind of I mean, added it was uh, okay. new ideas, um, rather than you know being alien. It it, did, it didn't feel as claustrophobic as Ice did, you know. Like they had more places to go than just like literally right here in this base. You know, they had you know a volcano they could go to. They had you know an outside they could go to. You know, they were they were remote certainly, but it wasn't you know it, like I. It, uh, you know. it kind of took um uh shoot the one w- that you absolutely hated uh with the uh green <laughs> the bugs. It, yeah, it took that like setting and instead did ice with it, which made it which was yeah it took all yeah. the good parts from ice kind of. Yeah. So yeah. it was kind of like that. I guess you know um. I mean, it was okay. It certainly wasn't a bad episode, right. I think, but um, I, you know, it wasn't a terribly good episode either. I think. Um, right. Yep. All right. I I really don't can't wait on right. it and on it. Sorry. No, like it wasn't terrible. It wasn't good, but it wasn't go- downright awful. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't have a whole lot of specifics even to say about it. You right. know? It was um, planned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All that phallic imagery, though, yo. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, that's, I guess, what's going to stick with me. Just like <laughs> there were penises yep. bursting out of necks. And splooching. Really? Yeah, like, I guess that's more of what it is. It's like aliens meets, um, you know, meets ice. Uh, yeah. So. <sighs> meets I last mean, of us, it's... like I said, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's an amalgamation of those three. I don't things. think that it works as well as they thought it would. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it it was good to have Scully back. You know, being Scully skulls. Yeah. Um, I don't know. She got her like they still had had her in in kind of in layered clothing a little bit. It seemed like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm not, not going to yeah. get your pre-pregnancy body back for right away. Well, I'm not and expecting her to. Everyone knows women need to have their you know, pre-pregnancy body back as fast as possible. Yes. All right. Nobody wants to look at that shit. <laughs> so, okay. That's interesting. But, um, so I guess title? Mm. Um, Firewalker. 
Again, Mulder doesn't mention his fear of fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Walks right into a fucking volcano. No fear of fire. Fuck Mulder. <laughs> but uh, any, any actual titles y'all want to put? Um... Firewalker bursting with anticipation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tortured with anticipation. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Okay. Good thing Sinfai's not, not here for this. Alright. Um, so, like, well, that's all we got for today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll be back n- n- next week with more with m- m- more adventures as we delve into more of season two. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. yep. So until then, uh, make sure. Uh, I just want to take a moment. I know we we always joke around and say, but for weird time, I want to be serious for a moment and just you know say that we always you know point out you know hey here's our GoFundMe and etc. And we we joke about give us money, but uh, honestly, just thank you guys for just yeah. listening to us. Honestly, yeah, right. I mean, that uh, we we just do this for fun. Uh, yeah. If you do, you know, have some p- money that you can send us. I mean, geez, thanks, man. But right. I this mean, just I appreciate fun. you um, listening more than anything. So, right. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. So that's my serious moment. Now okay. go visit our MySpace, <laughs> our Facebook, our Twitter. <laughs> I will set up the Twitter account. Just, just, just. Wait, we haven't. We got a MySpace before we got a Twitter. What is wrong? Yeah. What is with this out? We're old. Chronological order. We're old. <laughs> I don't know what you're not understanding. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, but yes, uh, you can check out any of our links uh, to see more silly stuff we post and all. Right. Um, make sure to subscribe to Kaneva's channel because she posts all sorts of fun and uh neat stuff uh right. she's got uh reviews on um uh loot boxes she yep games mm-hmm. and just us random chat TV shows yep. books whatever you want yep. you like know. i just did my top 10 favorite simpsons episodes and i am not a snob when it comes to the old stuff <laughs> I, unlike me, I'm right. I'm, I'm super. Uh, unlike er, unlike anybody who has taste. There's a couple newer episodes that are had some redeeming qualities to them. So uh, we'll be back without Christine next time. Yeah. Oh. Somebody just can't fucking yeah be civil. Right. <laughs> so, um, um, but also if you just can't get enough of us. Uh, uh, Ninko has also started uploading our, uh, game that we play every week or so, uh, where we, um, play as Time Lords from Doctor Who, uh, and non-Time Lords as well. And And just shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, so if you, if you want to, uh, to pay witness to that, it's quite fun and funny. Uh, if I may say so myself, uh, you go to uh, what's the YouTube channel? Wrecking Wreck- Crew <laughs> Games. Wrecking Crew Games. Uh, YouTube.com slash yep. Wrecking Crew Games, all one word. Uh, yep, should be. Yep. yep. Or Hopefully, we'll be in the uh, link description as well <laughs> if we remember it. Yes, yep. but uh, yep, so fun, yep. fun. Uh, yep. Plenty or- plenty of laughs all around. Um, yep. Everybody's really funny. Yep. Uh don't be afraid to comment, like, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Share and just want to say this somehow got sh- like one episode got shared on David Duchovny's Facebook page, so Senpai might actually be listening to us. <gasps> oh, it's like where has this been shared? Like, holy crap! So I want to share this on David Duchovny's Facebook page. Oh God! Please. So David Senpai, if you're listening. Your character sucks. That's right. I just said it. <laughs> Fuck your character. He's uh, a no, robot. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Please come on and... Get Scully to talk to us. She can come on as a guest. Yes. We want Gillian Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> no. We love you guys. Seriously. Love you guys, but seriously <laughs> this is a great uh, show. Um, yeah. Senpai, you're welcome to be our XY guest star. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Anybody's welcome. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could really see them coming on. <laughs> but sure. um, oh my, what happens if somehow we do get David and Company to, to be an expert? First off, they'd have nicer mics, and that would be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I would give a, Come on, they have enough money to buy us new mics. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that happening. I know. Okay, but point is, uh, yeah, so check out everything. Um, we're going to catch y'all on the flip side or right. whatever the young kids say nowadays. Yeah. Uh, Not bad, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'll tell you that for free. Not fucking that. All right, All right. so uh, bye. Bye. Bye.